Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another diecast review here on the channel today. Uh, today we have Martin Truex Jr.'s uh, Bass Pro Shops All-Star Paint Scheme. Uh, the first All-Star Paint Scheme that I'm going to be reviewing on this channel. Um, I'm interested to see all the stuff that's on it and uh, see how it turned out. So I can already tell some paint chippings on here. So uh, I've seen a lot of people hating on it. It doesn't look that bad in my opinion from first glance. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the of the numbers being slid back, but um, I mean, I guess the, it could look worse. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, dive into this review. Uh, so we'll start off with the box art. You got Mark Truex Jr. Uh, you got Joe Gibbs Racing down there. Uh, you got your barcode as always, and then you got the Action Racing collectibles on the side. Uh, over here, you got Martin Truex Jr. Number 19, Bass Pro Shops All Star 2020 Camaro. So um, I actually got to see this car race. Uh, in person, like I said, it didn't look that bad uh, out there on the track, but um, besides the numbers being pushed back, I think the biggest disappointment of that entire night was the underglow lights. Um, I think we can all agree on that. Whether you like the numbers being pushed back or not, the underglow was a complete failure. Uh, literally, they marketed it as a uh, like the entire car was going to be covered in neon, and then uh, we got there, and it was literally just the tail. Um, so... Starting off with this die cast, like I said, it honestly doesn't look that bad in my opinion. I kind of like it. Um, you got Bass Pro Shops there on the hood. You got BassPro.com. Uh, you got your two Toyota Camry nose. Um, you got the Cup Series logo up there on the windshield. On to the left side, um, here's where the interesting part will uh, come into play. I don't really hate this paint scheme. I know I've said it already, but uh, you got the bl that black stripe with the yellow in the middle. Um, the Bass Pro logo has some chipping on it um as you can probably tell uh you got a ton of sponsors down there um right below that just i guess that's where they put all their contingencies because normally normally on the joe gibbs cars those would be where the 19 uh, logo is so i just wish the 19 was bigger that i think that would help i don't know how good that would look i guess they wanted to make it symmetrical with the logo but if the 19 was a little bit bigger because you have all that empty black space around it i feel like if it was a little bit bigger it would look better but um i, I don't know i don't know how that would look but uh you can see you got a small little auto owners logo with the toyota there and you got his winter sticker um up there as well you got tracker boats and atvs there on the core panel a little bit of ch paint chip in here again uh, they actually put the american ethanol logo in the right place on this car so uh it doesn't look as bad as the chevys but still not on par with the ford ones uh, I, re I compared those in my Todd Dillon review, I think. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, go check it out there. But uh, you got Cabela's there on the deck lid. Uh, Martin Truex Jr. Oh, Truex Jr., I guess. They're on the uh, back windshield. BassPro.com. On to the back, you got Toyota, uh, the Toyota Camry bumper with tracker boats, ATVs, and then, again, the Toyota logo. Um, like I said, uh, I mean, I've seen worse. I'll get to, I'm going to review a worse paint scheme, in my opinion, here in a couple minutes so be on the lookout for it uh it should be uploaded right after this one you got boats and atvs there on the quarter panel tracker 19 again same old stuff um now i'm not saying like push the numbers back but if they did it this isn't the worst i've seen i'm still not a fan of pushing the numbers back at all but again this isn't one of the worst ones i've seen done so uh for example uh joey logano and uh kyle bush <laughs> but um yeah, that's all I have to say about this car. Let me know what y'all thought about the numbers being pushed back at the All-Star Race and if you would like to see that continue uh, moving forward. Oh, but yeah, that's going to do it from our review of uh, Martin Truex Jr.'s All-Star Paint Scheme. Uh, let me know what y'all thought about it down below in the comment section. Uh, thank y'all for watching. Reach up there and hit that like button and subscribe if y'all want to see more. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next one.